everything's on. All right, so welcome to the newest circuit on the Formula One calendar, the Jeddah Street Circuit in Saudi Arabia for the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Still not a fan of this track. But anyways, I qualified in eighth, and I feel like the car is definitely good enough to compete for a podium. I had to figure this track out because I never turned a lap on this track, not even in any of those special events that EA and Codemasters were hosting. So I had to figure this track out quickly, and I feel pretty good about the track in terms of, you know, laps and how fast I can go. But anyways, 13 laps around this fast street circuit, which I'm sadly still not a fan of because I still feel like this circuit is still a bit too dangerous by modern standards because, you know, today's race here in Saudi Arabia just resulted in way too many crashes, a lot of virtual safety cars and tons of debris getting left out onto the track. So here we are then, welcoming you today to one of the jewels of the Arab world, Jeddah, one of the biggest cities in Saudi Arabia, second only to Riyadh gateway to Mecca and one of the biggest ports in the region and now host to the Saudi Arabia Grand Prix. So let's take a look at the topographical map of the Jeddah Street Circuit. As you can see a number of challenging corners for the drivers to master here. We'll see just how much the teams have benefited from their time spent in practice this weekend. And like many street circuits this track has the potential to punish drivers that get it wrong. Let's hope we avoid any safety cars today. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. And it's fantastic to have you with us here today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? But from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the rundown into turn one. It's all a bit like going into battle. And the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you, so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday, and he starts from pole position, edging out Sergio Perez, who lines up P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Gasly, Sonoda, Charles Leclerc and Sainz, Hamilton, Bird, Bottas and George Russell, Ricardo, Norris, Louis Delatraz and Stroll, Vettel, Tigtum, Antonio Giovinazzi and Guan Yu Zhou, Latifi, Mick Schumacher, Ocon, they've taken a grid penalty and Nikita Mazepin. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? All right, so yeah, I'll go with what the engineers have given me, and I'll add in just a little extra fuel. So I'm probably going to be on the button a lot here. So anyway, let's go ahead and go racing here in Saudi Arabia. And it's lights out, and away we go in Saudi Arabia. Like I said, that first turn is just really, really sharp. But I had to get around at least one of the Ferraris. still in good shape. I don't think I damaged it. That's good.
DRS will be enabled this lap. You can use it when within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. up at least a little bit of time to Yuki. That's the thing when you're in traffic, you know, the car loses all that downforce because of the high speed nature of this track. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Copy that. Don't want to stretch these tires out or else I'm going to lose too much pace to the other cars. check up in front of me like that. teammate by 5.6 seconds. Oh, come on, Yuki. Stop doing that. Damn blocks. If Demp cuts me off and runs it down into me.
starting to get confused. There's too many, there's too many, too much info. My brain is processing. I don't know where the pit entry is. I think it's on the front straight, if I remember. Jeez. Like I said, I know there's going to be a bunch of flashbacks, because this is a brand new track. for the pit entry. I'm just glad I found it. Which is good. I was wondering where it was. I'm glad I... Go, go, go. Two. Good we'll stop, guys. Complete. Go now. Look after these tires now. We want to finish the race on this compound. Oh my goodness. Yeah, car got loose there coming out of the pits. Alright, gotta get up to speed. That just let me go. Thank you. There's five laps of fuel remaining.
used to. And so Great used to it, like, to hit the button. I'm not letting that Ferrari get. So I'm not letting that Ferrari get ahead of me. No way. Coming in for a stop. I meant to put it in fourth there. Just calculate the number of downshifts. I'm just trying to keep up with Checo up here. There's three laps of fuel remaining. seconds. Front is 1.7 seconds. Just posted the fastest lap of the race. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. We've only got two laps of fuel left.
I'll take it. P4. Very good run. That's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Ferme. But I can sadly hear the boos from the crowd. Yeah. But don't worry. I know who the real criminals of the world are. So. Not just victory today, then, but the championship as well. I won't what say it here on stream. Congratulations to the whole team. And talk to me. What do you think it was that sealed the win for them? Well, time management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed. It's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tires, that's really where the race was won today. Come to think Red Bull are our winners today after um, showcasing some incredible driving. There's been yeah, a huge push from them lately to won, stay competitive he should have won the race, with the other teams. And yeah, they're certainly won. proving themselves. Yeah, but yeah, I just feel like the Mafia screwed Max, you know. But even though I'm a bit dejected that he didn't win. But there is one bright side, though. I was laughing hysterically when Total Wolf was raging in the garage. <laughs> Especially when Toto was... <laughs> Especially when he was screaming in slow motion. He throws his head, sets down. That was so funny. <laughs> I, was la I was laughing. I was laughing hysterically at that. Let's focus on the driver of the day. Anthony Davidson, who do you pick? Let's give it to Esteban Ocon. That was a commanding performance today. Very impressive indeed. And it's another title in the bag for Red Bull. After a long and hard-fought season, they built an astonishing car this year, and the glory they'll be taking back to Milton Keynes is fully deserved. Well, that was certainly an incredible weekend of racing. Be sure to join myself and Ant for more exciting Formula One action soon. Uh, at least I have a, a nice comfy gap in terms of the constructors. So I think I might be able to lock up fourth in the constructors after after uh, Abu Dhabi final round. That was an exciting race from our perspective. Let's have yours. You really cut your way through the field today. You're breaking all expectation. What's your secret? How do you think this team will be feeling after? Appreciate your time. But yeah, but yeah, it was just so darn funny. Look at Toto Wolf rage in slow motion. <laughs> oh man, that was so funny. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Meanwhile, at team headquarters preparations for the final race of season three. And then season four will begin. Morning, boss. This week's income from the sponsors has cleared, and we are making good profit against yeah, our already, running costs. I already knew the sponsor. <laughs> All right. Um, definitely want to help Louie out and, uh, and go ahead and advance the timeline. All right. Got it. Powertrain's upgraded. Let's go ahead and quickly get the uh, powertrain upgrades that I want. Oh yeah, near the bottom of the pylon in terms of powertrain. All right, that should do it. Good, good. Yippee, skippy. All right. So yeah, nine days. Hopefully they all pass inspection then. Ah oh, man, but yeah, but yeah. I mean, I I really hope that it works. I mean, I'm praying it works. Development update, yeah, thrilled of the developments. That's good, and then high cash balance. Well, obviously I need to save that to pay King Louis his contract money. Oh, I almost forgot. Say, oh, I almost forgot. I gotta add, I gotta add the sponsor live decal back on. Uh, but yeah, the, but yeah, that was just so darn, that was just so darn funny. Edge and total wolf rage in the garage. <laughs> Slow motion. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, the next episode, final race of the of the Grand Prix season, the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, the Yas Marina circuit. It's old layout. 
and I don't know if EA and Codemasters are going to release the uh, new layout of the circuit, which I probably bet they won't. But anyways, the next episode, the final race of the season. See you guys then. Bye.